hello welcome to my channel my name is Lisa uh, today we're going to be working on decorating some of these um, awesome book page bags that I created uh, recently they are from a uh, Roxy's weekly challenge um, I will link the video uh, below um, to show um, if you haven't seen it um, to show how these were folded they're really simple one page uh, book pages so um, in the video um, I made so many of them I only got a chance to decorate one so I thought it'd be fun to come back and decorate the rest because um, I really, really enjoy these and I'm, I'm quite excited to have them um, in my stash. Um, this one is already spoken for for my waterfall journal. Um, so yeah, um, the only thing I think I added after the video is I add a little bit of um, coffee uh, staining and a bit of my vintage tape. Okay, so what I've done is gone through my pile of the ones that I uh, folded in the last video and added some ephemera or little pieces to add to them. So they're pretty much ready to go. The only thing that I might add that I haven't decided on yet is um, some coffee stamps, little um, splooches. Um, I have picked uh, ground espresso and coffee inks that I have available to do that. And then I also have a selection of my vintage washi tape. All right, we'll move that out of the way. Move that to be the first one. Gently move my pile because I got them all separated, so this should go relatively quickly. All right, get my glue. I got my glue, something stuck to it. <laughs> and glue page. And I don't see my bum bum bum. I don't see my glitter glue. All right, oh, there you are. <laughs> Hiding. There we go. Glitter glue. Okay. Now, for this one, I've already gone through and inked the outside of it, added a, coffee, a couple coffee splooges to it. The only thing I didn't have a decision on was um, these two flowers, so I added both of them. This is gonna be for my bee journal that is on my radar to do soon. I printed out a few of the pages. This is one of the um, little journal cards that they have as uh, extras in there. So I'm gonna add that to this page. I thought it was kind of fun with the butterfly to add that to the bee journal. So let's get a glue in. So how is your day today? Hopefully it's going well. It is a nice quiet day here. So far so good. Don't really have much planned except for crafting. I did send out a couple orders today. Some lovely mushroom pages on the way to one lady and some beautiful flower pages on the way to another and some of my rainbow dye papers on the way to somebody else. So hopefully everyone enjoys those when they receive them. Okay. I wanted to put that there. I'm just gonna go ahead and glue that down. Kind of covering up the other flower, but I like it. And then this I was gonna put there to kind of bridge the dun dun dun. Come on, tape. Bridge the B picture with the words. It's pretty faint in there, but it says. Uh, June, boy, I can't even see it. June something, 1910. Boy, it looks like June 60th, which I can't imagine there's a June 60th out there. But Okay, so that is nice. I also thought of adding this up in this corner. I did put the little spoogey there, but that can be covered. That is no big deal. I do kind of like that. It kind of brings the eye up. Okay, we're going to glue it. It is the same flower in just two different sizes. And maybe I'll just aim it a different way. So it looks a little different. Okay, that one's done. Cute. All right, so this one is a book page that I did of um, music notes. I decided to put a bird on it because birds sing, I've done that before. I have 
ink dyed it, but I think I'd like to add a little bit of sploogey to this because it looks a little bare in the center. I'm gonna use coffee because it's a little lighter than my ground, ex ground espresso. It can be kind of jarring if it's on a uh, lighter page. Now these can be uh, glued into a page or um, put in separately, kind of like an extra tuck spot. So I'm not exactly use this. Okay. I'm not exactly sure where it's gonna go, so I don't know if the back is gonna be used. I did put the um, coffee dye on there just in case, but I am not going to decorate it per se. The coffee dye really doesn't cost me anything to add, but if I wanted to you know, add these to it, then I'm kind of wasting ephemera that could be used somewhere else. So, that's my story of what we're doing here. Alrighty, so this, gonna go here now this was I'm not sure where this page is from um, I'm, I don't even know if it's a digital or some other kind of stack of paper but this right here is actually a book page that got glued on it so it's textured but I thought it was kind of cool it gave a kind of grungy look to it so I thought I'd use it I'm guessing when it was laid on a when it was laid on um to be glued. There was a glue spot on the book page and it ripped up and I decided not to use that part, but for this scenario, I am fine with using it. First time I saw this tag that said the desert, uh, the dessert house. I'm like, oh yum, but it's not. It is under new management. Everything is spick and span. <laughs> Toronto, Montreal buses. Okay. All right, so we're gonna per put Mr. Bud right on there. Make sure we get all his little parts so his nose doesn't come off. All right, and we want him kind of sitting, sit sitting on the tag. His branches on the tag. Okay. corner seems to be wanting to pop up okay we call that one done oh no we're not we got a little tag here down up and down wrap it around yeah it's a little texture like it's um, been cracked and that cracked on it too so yeah okay that one is done all right let's glue let's pin the glue back all right so this is my next one this was a matte page this was fun this was a nice huge one so I thought this was a Good one to do. Great size pocket to hold some stuff in a travel journal at some point. Add some 
flyers or photos or something. Whoops, a little too high. All right, so I did this as a wraparound. In case we see the back, it'll be there. Um, if not, it's still for sure on the front there. Okay, this is a thicker. Um, I have inked it, if you can tell there. It is a thicker Tim Holtz over one of his ephemera packs. So we're gonna make sure we got enough glue to hold that down. And put it right about there. Now the map is, I think, of the Netherlands and the sign is for somewhere in New Orleans, so not exactly the same, but I just thought it was kind of, um, Orleans is a great travel location. Um, I'm adding a clock because um, time zones, <laughs> I thought would be a nice tie-in for that. And well, this clock is wacky. There we go. Okay. Well, the numbers were out of order for a second. Because <laughs> I thought this was a one and a two, but that's really an X and an XI. It's just the way the print goes. Okay. So um, I've added this label to it already. I peeled it off. Um, they've both been grunged. And I've got to put that down here and I thought that was a great tag it says excess luggage ticket you know when you're traveling you got lots of luggage okay all right so I don't don't know where my pen is seriously how do I lose that so often there it is it is rolled I gotta add I got some dangles I should just, you need to actually add one to it. All right, so when you are out and about vacationing, well, you're gonna spill some, you're gonna spill some coffee on your little map. Not that anyone uses little maps anymore, but back in the day. As you're perusing where you're going, you're gonna you're gonna spill a little mappage or spill a little coffee on your mappage. Okay. All right. Do you want any tape on this? there. Okay. good. And there we go. Nice, huge pocket to stick stuff in. Little bag. Very cute. Okay. On to the next one. Alright. This one was a uh, 12 by 12 paper pads that I folded. Got some cardstock in the back. Um, I think I am gonna, before I get too busy on this one, I think I'm gonna snip this a little bit. Try to center it. Because the, oh, that is some thick paper. The um, top flap on this, because it was a shorter half sheet of only six inches, not a full like book page. That top flap was a little bit, a uh, little bit not enough room to show that there was a pocket there. So I figured a little notch would be good. Okay, so this one I have thinking about doing that, putting that maybe bridging that up. No, probably putting that up there. Okay, so let's add this first. Well, the reason 
reason I picked that tag was for insecticide. And you know, if you've got flowers, you wanna make sure there's no bugs, <laughs> you use an insecticide. Always have to have a reason why we're using it, right? Just can't be willy-nilly throw something down because you like it. <laughs> that never happens. I never do that. Okay. And believe it or not, there isn't up on this. These are stamped tags that I created. Stamped some paper and then printed some frames on top. Fun little process. I'll do a video on that too. If I remember to link that, I will. But uh, I like how they came out because they're not just a label. They got that shadowing of, I think that's like a ledger stamp. Um, but it's nondescript, so it just adds a little texture to the label. I like them. And I can stamp, on, I have done that before where I stamped on top of it also, but I thought this is good for this because it has a nice background to my rose. Yeah, I like that. Alright, so I don't think I'm going to do any coffee because I don't think they'd even be able to see it because it's such dark paper. I got the nice print there anyway. Yeah. I think I'm going to call that one done. Cool. Okay. Moving on. All right. So this one is um, an illustration page that I have in a, a big book. They're huge pages, nice and thick. And I thought this very industrial looking page uh, kind of was good to put these um, non-industrial elements on. Now this uh, label does have this um, agricultural imp agricultural implement um, catalog thing where they have the machine on there. So it kind of ties the two together and then there's flowers on the side so that's why I'm getting flowers. So it's kind of like the hard and the soft juxt juxtaposition. All right, so I'm gonna put this down. I thought I needed a little sort of book page writing kind of thing on here. Just uh, anchor it a little bit. I'm gonna overlap that just a tad. Okay, time to get rid of this page. Getting stuck. All right. Sure, it's over enough to leave room for my pretty flower. All right, let's get. Okay, now this is a thicker one, so we're gonna use the glitter glue on this one. Bump, bump. there to cover the bottom of the stem. I probably should have put the flower lower, but then it's kind of, why is it there? So I think I'm going to put it down there. And I just picked that to tie color-wise into that. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to put any coffee dye on this. I think the paper is just too white to do. Yeah, I don't know if I should. Move the edge a little bit. Yeah, that seemed to frame it a little bit more, soften the whiteness on the edge a bit. Okay. 
Again, not going to really decorate the back because I'm not sure if this is going to be one-sided or two-sided, but since I've got the ink out, I might as well do the back just in case. Yeah, I like it. Wish I'd have put the flower down a little lower, but that's okay. Live and learn. All right, so this one is a index page from a flower book, I believe. Yeah. Yes, these were, oh no, birds, thrush, thrush tangers, red-headed tanger. Yeah, these, this is a index from a bird book. So they are fairly large pages, kind of thick, so they worked well for what I was thinking of doing. Now I have this, uh, it was a digital. I thought it was interesting, the, it's not really, can't, you can see that there's flowers on there and there's flowers on that picture, I decided. Um, but it's more just the, of color that I liked for it. So this is why I decided to use this as a anchoring accent piece on the side. And then it had, I like this little splooch of orange it had in there, the flowers I picked. And some orange as well as the label I picked. So uh, this is gonna go here. So far, I've liked decorating this way. I don't have the hemming and hawing that I have uh, when I'm doing it. Or you don't see it. <laughs> I still do it. But the decision part was taken care of before we even got here. So I can just have the fun part of making it pretty. Yeah. I like it. I've been trying to do that a little bit as I'm decorating is just pulling out a few pieces and kind of working with those because it can be kind of overwhelming when you have a ton of items to choose from. Okay, I want to move that over enough so I still see the color. Yeah. And then this says paid by check, so I thought, yeah, I'm going to the florist. And you paid by check. Thought that was a good tie-in for that. Put that down there. I think I'm gonna add a little bit of coffee to this. And if I want espresso, I think I do want espresso. couple on the back just cause just cause all right I think the florist deserves a little bit of vintage tape out just yet might do that in the future uh, but again nice nice big pocket be able to put stuff in okay so I think we're down to our last one uh, don't forget to stick on by so you can see my surprises at the end here okay all right now this was a um, digital that I printed of a stamp collage that I created. You could actually find this as a freebie on my coffee account. So if you want to make your own 
cute little bag or like a travel journal or a stamp journal. <laughs> postcard journal. That's what I'm using that there. Then um, there you go. We got something already done. I think it looks nice. It has uh, some great colors on there. So I'm going to just break the colors up a little bit by putting a little bit of a book pagey scripty on the bottom here. Now, I didn't want to cover it all up, obviously, but I did want to give like a little bit of a resting spot for anchoring that. I'm going to put this down here. So I want to make sure I leave enough room for that. Yeah, I think I can glue that. It doesn't seem it's a little bit printed, this digital, on a little thicker cardstock. But not absurdly thick, so... And then this butterfly I'm going to put up here. I thought he was, whoa, great color match for the postcard and the page. And mm, butterflies like flowers. So I guess technically this could also go into a, could probably go into my bee journal too with all the colors. Birds and bees and butterflies and trees kind of going to be what the theme is mostly bees but there's obviously going to be some naturey things in there uh, this one I did the same I had the plain envelope and I added the smaller sticker on the inside to it so it's like a double layer one it was a little crooked but what can I do not much okay I think this is busy enough I am not going to put any sploogy on there or do I want to add a little bit of I don't even know if I want to do that. I don't think I do. Okay. All right, so there is that one. Okay, well, that is it for these. Quite exciting. I got these done. I was going to put them in my to-do book, but now they're in my to-done. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to do a quick flip through. Uh, if you want to see them all, if you don't want to stick... Uh, buy to watch the end of the video with my two fun finds uh, that I want to show. I just want to get this stamp stuff out of the way. Alright, so we started out with this scrap. Oh, I forgot that thing. I don't think I mentioned that this was a, also a scrapbook piece of paper where it was 12 inches and I cut it down to six. They were the, the two of them. You can see that they're shorter than the regular book pages. So, so we started out with that one. Very fun butterfly page. Added the cards, some florals. Have that with the craft flower in there, very cute. And we have the stamp digital with the postcard. Very nice. Um, I think I really like this one. Nice, nice size. Yeah, that's fun. And then we have this one, the just juxtaposition between the hardware machinery and the soft flowers. Very cool. My travel one, going on a voyage with the luggage, and then finally the little bird at the dessert house. <laughs> okay, all right, so that is it for those. Um, I'm gonna put those in my to done pile. So I'm gonna um, grab the stuff and get that out of the way. Get that out of the way. I'm gonna grab my two surprises here. So um, I was watching some videos, and some people had some book pages they were doing, and they were using. A couple books, so I had to look them up, see if I could find them. Um, so the first one is the Victorian Flower Album. Now, I believe, um, if I recall correctly, they were doing pages, folded pages, out of these nice long sheets. So I thought, oh, these are beautiful. Just beautiful books here. Um, so I looked it up on uh, eBay. I bought several books on eBay. You can find some good deals on there, sometimes not. I'm never lucky at thrift stores. I just don't like shopping them. So I'm willing to pay a little bit more for these um, with how many pages they are and how many things you have in there. So most of my books I find, you know, 20 bucks, I'll, I'm, I'm fine with that. 
uh, for how many pages there are. So um, I was looking on eBay, and these were like $133. I'm like, oh, no, 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 I'm not spending $133 on a book. Are you insane? Um, so then I went to um, Etsy, and I looked them up because I can find some stuff there occasionally. I found a music book there, um, and I found one for $30. Now I know, $30, oh my gosh, but it was free shipping. So technically, and from Canada, so I'm guessing shipping from Canada for a book this size, probably 10 to $15. So my guess is I spent about 15 on the book. Uh, and I'm, I'm even fine with the, the $30 because there are some beautiful pages in here. Um, most of them do go this landscape, but I saw there was a couple that do go up and down to fold other ways. Um, and actually I was thinking, I got this before I did this this and I was thinking about um, using these to make it because this when this when you see the video these get folded into themselves to make so this would be like the front of the pocket and and I haven't brought myself to taking this book apart yet um, I know I'm going to but um, right now I, I'm like oh can I should I but yeah I'm gonna be taking it apart because it's some beautiful stuff to use um, so look forward to some projects um, with these uh, books. And I think this one is from, what did it say? 70, 80, 86. Originally published in 78. This reprint was from 86. So still, what is that, 14 and 23? That's 37 years old. Um, still, still pretty old, but beautiful. So that's my first one. So keep an eye out for some fun uh, projects with this as soon as I can get brave enough to break this apart and then the second one I found was this one now again same kind of um, issue I guess I have the packing slip in there yeah um, same kind of issue with uh, this where every time I would look for it you know 40 50 bucks um, I found it for $15 on eBay Plus the shipping, I think it was 19 something. Maybe 20 with tax. So yeah, about 20 bucks for the whole thing. So again, some people will look out and we'll find them, but I thought, you know, for what this is, um, 20 bucks was reasonable. I'm gonna just make a gorgeous center As I'm looking at it going, I got my B, B page coming, B book coming. Oh, that's beautiful. Um, so again, just, I, I would look for it all the time and I couldn't justify the price for them. I mean, I'd see them as high as like $80 on eBay for a while. Um, up and down, I'm like, nope, not gonna happen. But then when you see it for 15, I'm like, add to cart. Judging, so 20 bucks. All together so for the two books 50 bucks now I know some people will be like oh that's way too expensive but um, I am gonna get a lot of use out of both of these books um, and who knows maybe I might sell a couple pages online I doubt it but um, maybe if somebody asked nicely I would but for now they're sticking together but shortly they will be taken apart to make some fun projects so that is gonna be it for me today um, I hope you enjoyed the decorating video with all these fun page pockets. I hope you enjoy my fun finds there. And if you have not subscribed to my channel yet and want to see more um, from me, especially these, please subscribe to the channel. Click the like button if you like the video. And as usual, thanks so much and have a wonderful and creative day. Bye now.